Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Before the Senate convened, a group of protesters gathered in the Capitol courtyard, urging lawmakers to forego the Marshall program included in the school safety bill. It would allow trained teachers to carry a gun in the classroom if a school district chooses to allow it. First grade special ed teacher Kristen McKay was among the protesters. This being passed would not only make me want to quit as a young teacher who is just starting out, but also my coworkers would be standing by me as well. In debate, Democrats expressed concerns over a lack of state oversight, saying too much authority was given to local sheriffs to determine how the programs would be implemented. If the sheriff uh, were to authorize the marshal to carry an assault weapon, that that would be allowed. That would be left to the sheriffs. The Senate briefly adopted a temporary ban on the AR-15, but then backed off. An attempt for an all-out ban also failed. Other gun restrictions included in the bill stand in the way of some Republican support. If it has the, the age increases and the waiting periods in it, I will not support it. And the greatest threat to Democrat support is the Marshall Program. Some of us who are all about true safety um, and not arming teachers or any other personnel that would be inside of a classroom. The full Senate will vote on the proposal Monday. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.